So, what's up guys, my name is RJ and welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be doing the February wrap up. Um, I'm not going to call it a March TBR because TBRs are lies. We don't follow, we say we're going to follow them but we don't follow them. I think I've done a TBR, I haven't followed any fucking one of them. So, um, I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be giving you a set TBR or anything like that. Um, I will mention at the end some stuff that I do, like I might read, but again, very loose, nothing uh, will be set in stone. So um, so, so I do want to start off um, just by saying thank you. Um, uh, the channel has, has recently just hit 100 subs. I didn't think it would hit that, like ever. I genuinely didn't. I, I started this as fun. It's fun for me, like this is like... If this is all it is, if it's all I get is a hundred subs, that's that is what it is. You know, as long people, as long as people keep watching and enjoying the vids, um, I will keep making them. That's, you know, that's that's it. So, um, but I do, I do, Jane, want to say thank you. I appreciate everyone who has watched the video, liked, commented, or anything like that. You know, there's a lot of you who have been very, very supportive of me and. Um, of the channel, you know, um, I do want to, there's a few people I do want to single out in particular, I think the biggest one is, is Jimmy, um, at the Fantasy Network, he's 95% of the reason that I'm here and I'm making these videos, so he deserves the biggest thank you, you know, he shouted out the video, my first video that I ever made, um, on his community thing, and that's what gave me that first, uh, boost, I think, so. You know, I do want to thank him for that. Um, other people, Baron, obviously, Baron's been, he's been great. Um, uh, Edgar, Fantasy Babble, he's been, um, he's an awesome guy as well. There's a, there's a lot of people. Um, there's just a couple that, that sort of come up my top of my head. Scott, um, you know, Kev, I do I want to thank everyone who's on Jimmy's private Discord as well, you know. People like Amanda and Joe and Shard, obviously. A big shout out to Shard. Shard's been a big. Um, he's also been a big uh, supporter of me. So, um, just thank you to to those people. And yeah, hope hope we can make some more uh, more great videos um, in the in the future. So, thank you guys. Let's get to it. This is going to be. Uh, relatively quick. I only read like two books in in February. Um, I've had I've had personal stuff going on. Work's been quite quite busy this month, so um, yeah, it's it is it is how it is. Um, I think we'll be going into a busy period. So my again, this is the kind of schedule. Maybe a video a week, every two week, every two weeks at, at worst. Um, I have a video out, but um, so I'll start off with um, uh, I'll read the, I'll, I'll start with um, the second book that I read, which was uh, the Madship, which is book two of the of the Life Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb. Um, I believe it's book five overall in in Realm of the Elderlings. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one a lot. I think this falls under I didn't enjoy it as much as say um a ship of magic. Um I this an overall in Realm of the Elderlings this would fall like in the middle. I definitely enjoyed it more than um Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest and Farseer. Um I didn't I don't think I enjoyed it as much as um as I did Royal Assassin, but I'm very, very excited to see where characters are going, especially uh, one character which I hated in in book one, and they turned around for me in book two, which I didn't think was even possible, but it was possible. And just for clarity, it's not Kyle. Kyle is literally the worst. He's words haven't been described, haven't been even uh, thought of for what I want to describe Kyle. He is so. He's so. Now the second book. Um, this was the book that I, th that I finished. Uh, I finished this before 
uh, the Mad Ship. But I want to talk about this last because when I talk about this book, I have to talk about recent events. I think because it would be it would be disingenuous if I didn't talk about it. Um, so um, it, obviously it's, it's Sephiroth's Hand by Melissa McPhail. Um, I read, uh, I read this book a few, I put a review up a few weeks ago, um, of Sephiroth's Hand, and, um, for the, for those who don't, obviously, who, some of you may not even know, um, a few days ago, um, I believe it was on the 27th of February, um, of this year, um, Melissa, unfortunately, uh, passed away to, um, I believe, uh, pancreatic cancer. Um, it was obviously, you know, it's, it's obviously a big shock, I think, to, to everyone and especially the, the long-term, uh, the long-time fans of, of the series. Um, I was part of a, um, a Facebook group, which is, uh, the biggest fan group for this series. Um, Melissa herself was very much involved in that. Um, in that group, and many of the people knew her uh, personally, so it was very, um, it was obviously a very emotional uh, time. It it did hit me quite hard because you know I I love the I love Sephiroth's hand. I adore the book. Um, I think the night before, uh, the the evening before, I read the prologue um, of book two, the Dagger of Aiden Dageth because I just wanted to see um, what it was like. And her writing had like noticeably improved from from book one. I'm very excited to see uh, where the series was going to go. And yeah. Um, and, then, and then I got the news um, the following evening. Um, yeah, it's is really tough. Um, I seen a tweet. I'm going to uh, bring this up. Um, I seen a tweet that um, I believe it was um, uh, it was Johnny Wards or Wards who made Wards. I think yeah, uh, that Johnny Wards made. Um, yeah, you know, she's she's been tweeting basically um, support authors, support the support the living authors, and you know reach out because you know again the things like this will do happen you know that that you have an author and unfortunately they something happens and they pass but you know i think i think it's very important you know if you do want to reach out to an author please do please reach out um and just let them know that you've read their work because i i know um authors do uh appreciate it so as well i think I should probably let people know who are fans of the series who may not know. Um, this might be out by the time I put this video out. Um, this will be more well-known knowledge. Um, Melissa has given, before she passed, she did give permission to her family um, that uh, book six and book seven will be released. What uh, I believe she had a lot of it written. I don't know if they're going to finish it or they're just going to release it I assume they're not going to release it just as it is. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we uh, there will be stuff. Uh, book six and book seven uh, will be released. So we so long time fans will get an ending, and uh, that's some good news, at least for uh, for those people. Uh, I think just before um, I wrap this up, I don't want to end it like um, too down. Um, 
I want to, uh, I guess I'll let you guys know what I'm reading right now. Um, by the time this goes out, I should be finished this, but, um, it's making all the, um, all the rage, um, on, on booktube, I hope, uh, in the coming days. And this is A Touch of Light by, uh, Thiago, Thiago Abdallah. This is book one in the Ashes of Ashes of Averin uh, series. Um, Alan has put a review out for this um, uh, recently. So um, I'm going to be doing a review of it um, and also exci some exciting news. Um, I'm going to be talking to the author himself. Um, I'm going to be talking to me, to, to Thiago um, in, um, on the 21st of March. Um, that should be about 9pm uh, 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 British time, GMT or whatever it's called, so that would be 5, 4 or 5 uh, p.m. Eastern, so yeah, um, so that's when uh, I'm going to be talking to, to Thiago, I'm going to be talking about him about um, a touch of light, I'm going to be talking to him um, just in general, so um, I'm very excited for that. And also, so some of the, um, so I guess I'll talk about what I plan on reading. There's some of the stuff I plan on reading. Um, I'm going to be reading Grace of, I'm reading Grace of Kings as well. Um, so I should be finish it. I'll finish that up in March. Shadow of the Gods, I've started that. Um, that should also be wrapped up in March. Um, I don't know what else, um, there is, um, I need to continue Age of, Age of Madness, um, I may do that, there's obviously Ship of Destiny, Ship of Destiny I think I'll likely finish up this month if not next month, um, oh I do have another book, sorry, I forgot to mention this, um, I'm doing a buddy read with, um, on, on Jamie's private discord, um, with, uh, Shad and, um, Joe, I'm reading, um, we're reading The Hellborn King by, uh, Christopher Brenning. Um, this is, uh, this obviously is an indie author. Um, uh, we both, uh, Shad, I think, brought it up, um, and I, to, to Joe, and I looked, and I looked up the premise, and it was very interesting, so I wanted to give that a go as well. Um, I think the cover as well is, is great. It's, it's an amazing cover. Um, so yeah, I do, again, I'm, I'm planning on reading maybe some more indie authors, throwing it in with some of the essential stuff that I want to read as well. So yeah, it, I hope, I hope I enjoy this. This seems like it could be, you know, a good read. So that's kind of it guys. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this, like, and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Slam.